Support for this podcast comes from Minuteman Press to Pair. Minuteman Press to Pair is your preferred print and marketing service provider, helping certain path members grow their business since 2001. Through their knowledge and experience with the programs, you will receive a fast turnaround and satisfaction guarantee on price guides, inspection forms, club materials, and much more. In addition to specializing in your proprietary tools, Minuteman Press to Pair also provides custom design services, templates, and a wide range of promotional items to help you market your residential business. Like you, they are committed to your success. Minuteman Press to Pair is the only Minuteman location affiliated with the Certain Path Partner Network, providing member rebates and discounts. Contact Denise today for more information at 877-203-4769. Welcome to Successful Contractor, powered by Certain Path, a show for residential contractors about residential contracting. We chronicle business journeys, share insights, and celebrate successes in this wonderful industry. I'm your host, Bob Houchin. As a reminder, all episodes of the Successful Contractor are available on YouTube as well as your podcast player of choice. And for more information on how Certain Path can put your contracting company on a certain path to success, visit our website, www.mycertainpath.com. I'm excited to bring you an interview with Jared Taylor, a salesperson for Bolden Roofing in the tiny town of Russellville, Kentucky, which is a population of a little more than 7,000. Jared had a sensational 2022, selling $2.8 million in residential roof. How was he so successful in such a small market? Jared believes in being straightforward with his customers. Yes, he enjoys connecting with people and forging relationships. However, he also believes in being upfront and as honest as possible. And Jared is straightforward throughout his entire sales process. And he explains it in this interview. Jared shares why every customer is not his customer, how he manages difficult conversation with homeowners who only thought they needed a simple repair, not a complete replacement. What he does when someone asks why he's $4,000 more expensive than a competitor, why and how he tears apart competitors' estimates, how he closes homeowners over the phone who are still waiting on those other bids from competitors, and why some insurance companies he just won't work with. So without further ado, here's my conversation for Jared Taylor, Bolden Roofing, Russellville, Kentucky. I hope you enjoy our conversation and take away a nugget or two. Jared, thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate your time. Uh, for those who haven't had a chance to, to meet you that might be watching or listening, can you share with everyone your name, your company name, and where you guys are located? All right, my name is Jared Taylor. Um, we're with Bolden Roofing Company out of Russellville, Kentucky. Russellville, Kentucky. You just educated me. It is about, what, 60 miles north of Nashville? That's correct. Very good. So you've been been to music town a few times. <laughs> well, we're, we're talking today for, for a very good reason. You had an excellent year last year. Um, now, I had, we had to look it up, but you, your fi final number was, you, do you remember what we, we, we found? Like 2.8 something, something, something that sent, he said he worries about the big milestones, so only the million dollars. <laughs> That's right. Well, you were close to that three, <laughs> which, which is excellent in a small market, like, like we, where you guys are from. So that's fantastic. Um, to, I, I want to get into your sales process and, and we will do that in a moment, but I always enjoy learning people's personal stories and, and kind of how they got to where they are today. Sure. So for Jared, how, for, for you, how did you end up getting into the roofing industry? All right. So. My boss of 15 years, his wife, was my eighth grade homeroom teacher. Really? Um, my nanny babysat their their daughters from the time they were young all the way till they were school age. So knew them, you know, been around them, whatnot. And one day she called and said, hey, we got an opening. Are you, you know, would you be interested? Yeah. Now, at the time, I was working in health care. Oh, really? Um, I was going to be an occupational therapist. So when all that, I won't say what it is, but, you know, when the health care went kaput, yeah. um, I was, I was went from, you know, going from 60 hours to 20 hours. So, you know, and so I was like, yes, absolutely. Whatever I got to do, I've got a baby on the way. We got it. We, whatever money I can make. Yeah. So, yeah. and I started out kind of, a, you know, just going and observing and kind of seeing how how they did things and then you know my first job my first day came up on the job and i've been there ever since wow and so you you were 20 i was 21 21 
15 years later, this is, it's a party event. That's right. That's great. So how long have you been in a sales role? The entire time. The entire time. I got thrown into the, I got thrown into the fire as soon as I started. Wow. Holy cow. So you, you, you've learned the hard way and, and now you, you're wiser for it. That's right. <laughs> That's right. I'm not gonna... Wow. Okay. All right. Well, let's see. So how long has, has Bolden been members with certain path? We have been here, takes six or seven years. Six or seven years. So you said you'll follow the process exactly the same way, but I'm sure you've probably picked up lots of nuggets. That, that's correct. We we do do a lot of things, you know. It may not be in the correct, you know, form. Um, you know, bits here, bits there. Yeah. You know, not every technique works for every single person. Yeah. So you just kind of got to pick. You got to make it your own and pick pick what work what works and go from there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's interesting. So you you've had the benefit of doing things your own way. And then working with somebody like us to kind of learn maybe how a different way to deliver it. Great. And you've created your own little system. That's that's obviously working well. Right. So good stuff. Well, let's let's dig in a little bit. Um, let's start from the moment you go on appointment. Okay. How do you get like what 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 information do you like to gather beforehand? Is there anything you do to get yourself mentally ready for the call? What what's your approach? Um, so I just do my job. <laughs> Number one. Yeah. You know food on the table but um but you know i will say this my boss is not over my shoulder is not looking looking at everything i do every single day and calling me and telling me hey this is what it is yeah so i will tell you this is the most important thing for any business owner coming from a salesperson let the guys sell it as if it's their company if they believe in that and know that hey, I'm a part of this company, and this is me. That they'll they'll do a lot better. Yeah, yeah. You know, because it's not. This is where I want to retire from. I'm not leaving and going to somewhere else in four years. Yeah, and then trying to start over. You know, if you get people that is really good at what they do, and they understand. You know, hey, here's your philosophy of this, and here's how I want this, and as long as you do it, you leave them alone, they'll flourish. Yeah. Yeah, so you're you're passionate about working gold. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll I'll retire from here. What 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 has made you so passionate about? It? You know, it's the he's the best boss I've ever worked for. Um, truthfully, um, I had, I can't say that without thinking of the millions of things that you know. Not only has he done, but just said and does, and the actions of it in our community. Not just me, not just other people that work for us. It is for our entire community. Uh, there's a lot of things unsaid that he does do. Yeah. Um, and to work for somebody that gives back and doesn't doesn't want recognition, that is what's big for me. Best. Um, you know, um, but getting back to that question, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, I got I got long winded. That's our closet. <laughs> <laughs> feeding you for long winded. We've got this. There's no commercial breaks, and we can go for as long as you want. So but yeah. So how do you you know the sure you so. Are you do you want me to ask this question? Are you talking about before I get to the house or are you talking about as soon as I pull in the driveway? I would say so you're leaving, say, the office. Like it does someone from uh, from the office give you, hey, you're going to Miss Jones okay. house. It's this much it's this old you know, I got how much information you'd have before. Okay, so our business, our office manager Amber, she'll she'll answer the phone call, set up my appointment. I'll run four to a to day, depending on what they are, repairs or replacements. Okay. Uh, very. And then, uh, so I just do the estimates for the Unless it's a very small repair or it's one of our club members. Okay. Then I'll just, I'll perform it while in there and get it done. And sure. they're not waiting. Um, but she puts it on my, on my calendar. I go from, you know, just in line. Um, and I'll call if I'm running late, I'll call them if I'm running early. Okay. Um, once I get there, of course, I'll, if I can park on the street, I like parking on the street. I don't like it in their driveway. Um, I had an accident one time, so. Uh, I'll tell you, that is it is a homeowner? It's kind of, and maybe because I've been doing this for so long, it's kind of a bugaboo with guys parking my driveway. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't know why. I'm not, I'm yeah. not a real uptight person, but I don't like it, you know? So, and I'm sure there's other people like me, like, you know. Try. Yeah. You know, from my instance, one, I drop 
we do commercials too. So I had had an APDM primer in the back of my truck, and I was fumbling around trying to trying to find a um, a flat bar. I was going up to do a, a, a tarp. I didn't know I knocked the APDM flashing over. So then they have a nice sticky shiny spot in the driveway. From that point, I have yet to park anybody's driveway. Street department, how you want to care of that? Yeah, yeah. and uh, but you know, we used to you, you live and learn. There's things that you can benefit from, and sure. a lot of people do like the fact that hey, they're not parking my driveway. Hey, Miss Miss Smith has to leave, but Mister Smith stays. Right. Hey, she may be running late for something. I'm not going to come down, get my truck, move out of the way. Hey, leave it open. They're good to go. Yeah, I mean, yeah, for sure. You know, type thing. So, yeah. uh, once once I get to the house, knock on the door. You know, introduce myself, talk to them. You know, kind of figure out why I'm there. I do know why 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 I'm there, but I want them to tell me. Uh, how, how much small talk do you have to go before you get that, or do you ask questions? That's the first thing I ask. First thing. So, depending on what the issue is, would then depend on what my next move is. If it's a repair, hey, you come on out here, show me where it's at. Yeah. What do you, th- you think's going on? Can I get in your attic? Show me at what room it's leaking at. You know, whatever it is. You know, could be umpteen different things. Yeah. Um, well, I just noticed that there was a cat trying to get a squirrel right over here. Or, you know, things like that. Yeah. You know, show me where that's at. I want to know because if there's a hole, on it, I need to know what's causing that. Right. You know, um, so talking to them, figuring out, it, for instance, what is the problem mm-hmm. um, on repairs, re- on replacements, once I figure out what they – what they want to do. Um, you know, if it's a repair or replacement, I'll, I'll get up on the roof. Okay. Um, sometimes, you know, if it's a younger younger generation people, say, hey, you want to get up here with me? I'll show you what, what we do a little different. Yeah. You know, if it's not, I'm taking a video. Okay. I, I video, I picture, I do everything, and all those go into that job file. Okay. So from the time I crest up to the, to the, group, to the gutter to check how many layers is on there, that's the first that, that that's the first thing you see, and you can follow my path all the way around. Do you do what do, do you say? Like do you talk while you're yes, that's yep. the rate. That's correct. So if, you know, hey, this house has two layers of, of shingles on it, white drip edge, five twelve pitch gutter guards. Ooh. And I'll get, I'll I'll shimmy up the ladder, get on. Hey, they've got closed valleys here. They've got a chimney flashing over here leaking. These need to be these pipe boots need to be replaced. That that gas vent needs to be re- replaced. Whatever. I notice it's just sticking out. Yeah. Um, then that's the case. Also, with repairs, once I get up on the roof, I'll find that area and I will I will take it from the start to the beginning to the repair. Mm-hmm. That way, whenever the technicians go out, they know exactly where it's at. It's at. Um, so I've already done the work. They don't have to find it. Yeah. Okay, knock on the door. Hey, I'm here to fix your roof. Get up there, get it done. Go to the next one. Yeah. Um, type thing. Are you hitting at in the the attics too? Yes, very good. What? Yes. Well, what, what kind of crazy stuff have you seen in attics? I'm sure some some things that make your skin crawl. <laughs> snake skins. I don't do well with. Yeah. Um, I've seen snakes. I've seen snake skins. I've seen skunk, raccoon, possum, squirrels, birds. No dead bodies. That's good. That's a plus. But a couple of skeletons. I thought it was it's just weird. And I said, you got skeletons in your attic. She really, she thought that was funny. But, uh, and, uh, but yeah, no, there's there's some weird things that you see up there. But but it helps differentiate yourself from a lot of the other companies, right? Because you get, and then you can see, oh, man, you, you have, did you know you have some old that's right. in there? Right? That's right. But you, but you know ahead of time what type of decking's on the house. Um, you know what, what kind of substrate it's on. Are the are the raptors on twenty four inch center? Or are they on on sixteenths? You know why why are, why are, is this sway right here going? Well, that's because they use too small plywood. You know, and over time it swayed. Yeah, you know, you're on two foot center, and that's just what it is. What needs to be replaced so we can already price exactly. It. So you get a true quote versus what somebody just said. Yeah, this is what it is. Exactly. Yeah, that's great. That's great. You know, so come down if it's a replace. I start on myself. Okay. I'll, I'll tell them, hey, you know, here's what I found. You know, here's here's how I found it, why you need to do this, why you need to do that, and tell them about the company. Okay. If they don't, no, we'll slow down. Will you go sit down somewhere? Or you could stand outside and 
can kind of have. Sometimes it just depends, and you got to get a feel for them. Yeah. Uh, because sometimes, a hey, Mr. Johnny over here, he, he just wants to, hey, where's my quote? Yeah. You know, if that happens, you know, Mr. Johnny, I really want to go over this with you. Right. You know, can I can I go ahead and go print it out, come back in here, and then go over it with you? Correct. 90% of the time that works. Yeah. Um, but sometimes it's like, no, just pr print it off and leave it here. Mm. Write that customer off. You're not going to get off. That's not my customer. Right. I, if that's the way they are, I don't want them. Yeah. Um, they don't care about their about what their end product is. So there's going to be potential. Just let it go. Yeah. Um, you know, the ones that I want are, hey, come in here and talk to me for just a little bit. Whenever that person, you come in there and you just start talking to them and then they're like, yeah, just come on in the kitchen table or let's go sit on the couch or I don't care where, wherever, give me the most comfortable seat and I'm good to go. I'll sit there and talk to you, to you, you know, to you don't want to listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're sunk in the couch, and you got your you got your measurements and your pictures. Yes, sir. Uh, talk about then your process. Is it just going through all the pictures and video with it? So what I would do is I would hit the high points. Okay. Um, say, you know, if it was two layers on there, hey, you got two layers on here. Both of those have got to come off. Yeah. You know, and explain why. You know, let the house breathe with one layer with a new underlayment. Don't. You know, don't put another one over there because the firemen can't get their hatchet through it uh, or their axe. You know, it's codes and different things. You got to go through all that stuff because in our area, everybody's prone to putting over top. We're one of few that don't. Yeah. Um, just because we're doing it right. Yeah. And you're educating us. Yeah. And, and, that, and that is correct. Yeah. You know, my way of doing this is I sell myself, I educate, I listen, and I finalize the sale. Yeah. Um, you know, that's how I do everything that goes with any, you know, any type of, of sales. Yeah. As far as, you know, it be gutters, roof, siding, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, I want them to know what they're getting, why they're getting it, and what what it, what's the best attributes of that product that's going to benefit them. Um, and if I do that, they have no... There is nothing in their mind that says, I don't have a clue what I'm getting. Yeah. If I do my job and they can tell you how to put a roof on when I leave. Yeah. <laughs> I've done I've done my job. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because then you look up there and they're calling, hey, I, you told me they were going to put ice and water shield around that chimney. Yes, ma'am, I did. Well, it's it's black. Yes, ma'am, it is. That's when it, that's whenever you, they start questioning. But. If you give them enough education up front, you you can you can uh, tell them how that is that's ice water shield. This is to fit, you know. This is the flashing. Here's why this is. Yeah. You know, a lot of those questions are not even asked mm -hmm. um, at, at that at that. You yeah. so the that point, and you built enough trust at the, exactly that they go, hey, you guys told me to do it the right way. That's right. It's the right way. Um, so you sit down and you go through the high points, mm -hmm. pictures and video. What's the rest of your presentation? How does that flow? What do you talk about in terms of you or the company that's so I tell I tell everybody kind of how I just did with you a little bit, really. They'll ask my story. When did you start? Because you look like you're ten. And I'm like, yeah. hey, I've got a freshman in high school. Not only you know, a seventh grader and a third grader. So I mean, yeah, I get it. It's yeah. a good thing. Good for my wife, I guess, not me. But uh, <laughs> but, uh you know, it's uh you know, that's how I start hint. Once you, what, in my opinion, when you start telling your story and explaining how you came in, into the company and how long you've been there, people really st step back and think, well, if he's been there that long, they must really take care of their people. Yeah. And if he's been there that long, how long have they been in business? And then you can go into how Thomas started when he was 18 years old. You know, this is our 35th year of business. You know, he, he went to school and then decided, hey, I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get associates. I'm done. I'm gonna roof the rest of my life. Yeah, you know, and it's just it's just how it worked out. Yeah. Um, thank goodness. And you're and you're the hometown roofer. You're not the guy that's cramped on storms from market to market. We fight with it every day. Yeah. Um, we live in a county of twenty six thousand people, and that's five zip codes. Mm. So, the nearest town to us is thirty miles away. Yeah, and they may have. I think the last time was fifty to sixty, so that's the that's the largest that's the largest um, town 
closest to us. Yeah. So we're very rural. Yeah. Um, so, and this is part of a process, but we don't offer finan- financing in our area. Interesting. I was going to ask about that. Uh, yeah. we, we do, but we don't use it. No, nobody uses it. They don't pay cash. I'll pay cash. Oh, we do. It's not. Now you go to Bowling Green or your you know, old Hopkinsville or Clarksville, which is two, two other towns west and south of us. Yeah. And you will get five people to finance there. They don't know area. That's interesting. Oh. You may have one percent you and he for it. Or are you just doing it offered it? Most of the time some the people will ask if we if we finance. If they do we offer it. But I don't have it built in like a presentation like I've got I'll have two presentations, one for people in the larger towns and the one for our people. Is it right? Um, you know, it just makes it simpler. Yeah. Um, they don't have to sit there and listen to all that when I know they're not going to do it. Right. That's uh, nice. When you know, when you know at least half, maybe three quarters of the people in your county, it makes it. Other people are sitting down. Yes, you know. Yeah. You, you know. Yeah. Um, and you can get a good feel of, hey, you want it, you know, most of the time, if they want something, they're going to go to their banker. Mm-hmm. And they're not going to go through through it with us, which is fine. Yeah. Um, but we still get the job. Yeah. You know, at the end of the day, money, money's, in, money's in the bank. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> Very good. So, okay, so you'd sit down, go through the videos, you okay, yep. should be sure talking about your story, the company's story. What are other big things you talk about to build the value and differentiate yourself as a warranty? So, so that that's something else that we do, and like I said, I know I know a lot of the people I go and talk to. So, not only am I talking that, I'm sh- I'm small talking about their grandchild that plays softball for me, or you know, they're so you're still doing the relationship building. Yes, you know, I, I don't, I am, I'm back and forth, you mm-hmm. know, until they, I mean, they know me, but you know, when you start bringing all those little things in, and it all comes to fruition, and then it kind of comes to a head then you're just like okay here's now here's what we're going to do yeah you know yeah you know type thing so once once all that happens i just listen to them yeah i say hey tell me what you want yeah let me uh i want i was going to get into options but i just remind i guess i'm sorry i want to interrupt you no we, we give a 10 year workmanship warrant it's any okay there we go so i mean it's my first one yeah you first one let's get the other one so yeah I, we we offer a 10-year workmanship warranty yeah. on all of our dimensional roofs okay as a base, if you go up to a luxury line, we use certain teeth. So if you go up to a luxury line as a pro or, you know, Highland Slate presidential, we all we give all those a 20. Okay. Wow. Um, so. That's pretty much a lifetime. Yeah. And manu- manufacturers is a 30. Ours is always 10 behind. Okay. So, you know, power rent goes out. You know, something else happens. You know, we're there to, we'll fix it. Yeah. Um, you know, turbine turbine bearings are squeaking or something go up there and replace the the, the world of bird and you know it's just something a little extra we do yeah um, that they know everybody else isn't and so big way to differentiate as exactly um what i was going to ask is yeah before we talk about options i think you said you go on repair calls mm-hmm. so there's i'm sure plenty of calls like some of those well i just need a small repair can you get there oh, oh no if you need to hold that's correct so how is that, what's that conversation? How do you, how do you pivot from that when you step up aware that this might be a little more than you thought? So it is a, whenever you get up in the attic and you see a big area, you know, four by four, a whole sheet of plywood, for example, that is just black as can be. Yeah. And you're thinking, how long is that late? You know, now is that person going to be happy with that four by eight section now turning into a six by 10 section because we're going to tear out around it. Are they going to be happy with that on the front of their house? Probably not. Yeah. And so when you come down, depending on where that's at, it's the first thing I hit them with. Look, I know you called me here for this, but this is what I'm going to tell you. And this is why. And And you got the proof of the picture. Exactly. Yeah. Whoever else went up there, oh, well, it's just a nail pop. Don't worry about it. And then you get up there, and then you have to go into that, and then they're basically falling into a, a job. They didn't even, you know, it's going to go from this to this real quick. But it is what it, it is. is. At least they know the truth. Exactly. Aim for, I would hate to pay for a repair that's nothing, you know, and get robbed. 
Yes. Plays and turn right around. Yeah. How often do you, do you, do you, hit, do you face that board? It's like, I mean, they had some are playing a parent. You know. More than he cares. It, it's quite, it, it's quite, I mean, I could tell you who roofed our roofs that we didn't do in our area. Yeah. Because of what flashings and thing they, things they've used. And having to go back and fix things. It, I I, t- I know exactly how that what they do. Is it because people in the market or people that just come in and in, in and out? Both. Wow. Both. It's getting better. It's getting better. Yeah. Some of those are left and aren't back, but it's getting better. Yeah. Isn't that something? Support for this podcast comes from Pulse M and Customer Lobby. Successful certain PATH members like you know the value of thinking like a customer. We've got the tools to help you do just that. Enter Pulse M Plus. Combining the power of Pulse M and Customer Lobby to enhance your customer journey by creating value at every touch point. We've helped hundreds of certain PATH members like you win and retain more business. Pulse M Plus utilizes Pulse M's industry leading reputation management capabilities to help you build out the early stages in your customer's journey and maximize your online reputation through Google reviews. Then, Pulse M Plus keeps your customers coming back by incorporating Customer Lobby's powerful retention platform, using postcards, emails, and text messages to send the right message at the right time to encourage repeat business. And as a certain path member, we will waive your setup fees. For more information, please visit get.pulsem.me slash pm dash plus dash certain path. All right, when you get down to your options, how many options do you like to, to give? Good, better, best. Go figure, three options. And that's the big differentiator. So you said that's just a like of a, the guarantee, the warranty oil. That, that, that's correct, and what? and the style. So, for instance, I'll start out with a regular dimensional Landmark 40-year product. Then I'll bump up to a Landmark Pro 50-year product. And then I'll go to a luxury Highland Slate or Belmont, which is another 50-year product, but it's a different style, different look, um, copper accents, you know, things like that. So with you have your different tiers that you can choose from. Um, and and 50% of the time people care about it, 50% they don't. Uh, but I know what it costs. Yeah. It don't, I've got that built in on the estimate. So all I do is say, add this, add this, add. Oh, so oh. I know it, it, it's all, it's all there. Yeah, I just do, I did it on my ThinkPad, my, um, on my computer because it flips into a, a tab. Okay, so sure. That way I don't have to back and forth. But yeah, um, but that's how, that's how I present it. Okay. Um, do you bring in samples like with the material? I did. This is a nice thick material. I did. So, and these copper finishes and you bring it, have it. So when I do pictures, baby, I, I, do, I do, I do carry pictures with me. Yeah. Um, and, you know, a lot of people say, I want to see that on the house. Already, I've got a cheat sheet that I know exactly what colors on what house and what's, which ones are close to them. Oh. So if they say, hey, I want to see Highland Slate and Smoky Quartz, mm-hmm. boom, I got you an address right here. Yeah. You know, and it's just, it's a job that we've done in the past two or three years, so it still looks brand new. Um, but, you know, it's not one we done 15 years ago that all the all the coffers started to patina and you know it you know, just don't look so it's hidden itself. yeah yeah so it's one of those things yeah yeah so all right so you, you build these quote and then and then you said you don't show the finance price it's just a regular price mm-hmm. and then how do you how do you handle some of the objections like, oh i didn't I didn't realize and a new roof is going to cost that much what, what so so i tell them hey just as much as anything and right now it's eggs yeah eggs are going up so is roofing i'm sorry that you, it was the price of 20 years ago. Cool. You know, I'm just, I'm just honest with them. Yeah. Um, you know, and then they'll say, hey, why are you $4,000 higher than XYZ? Right. Roofing. Well, did, do they offer you that warranty? Do they offer you that guarantee? Are they going to tear everything off? Did they come out here on time? Because I know I did. Yeah. And I can tell you what I'm doing, and I can promise you that it's going to be done, but whenever their guys get here, are they going to do what I just told you? Right. And that gets them every time. And you'll be that direct. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm honest. I'm a, I'm black and white. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't beat around that bush. Yeah. And then try to jump over this one. Yeah. I'm going straight through it. Yeah. And 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 it is what it is. You know how you I know. Do. And I know for a fact what we do and how we do it is totally different from everybody else. Yeah. 
because I see it every day on the repair side. I know what we do and what the other people don't. And I can call them out on it every single time. <laughs> and I, I, that it's just, I'm that type of person. Yeah. You know, I, I would much rather be upfront, honest with somebody and, and tell them the truth, whether it hurts their feelings or not, at least they know the truth. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's just, that's just me. Sure. For sure. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, I, I'm here to look the, the bid collectors, the ones that are like, Really, you know, a girl. It's my favorite. Three to five. I, I need a three to five. That's my favorite. They are. Yeah. Right, okay. What do we do with those folks? You take you, you take those three and you lay one here, one here, one here, and then you put yours right here and I and say, I want you to find this on their estimate. I want you to find that on their estimate. Yeah. And then where's their warranty? Is it even on that paper? Yeah. Oh yeah, they said it was a thirty. I said they said, they said that it was a thirty year warranty, but where's it at? Right. 40 year warranty, 10 year workmanship warranty. Anybody else close? My, I love picking them apart. Yeah. That's my favorite thing, thing to do <laughs> is, is picking somebody else's estimate. And I could care less what the names of them say. Yeah. I tell them all the time, cover that up. I don't care. Yeah. All I want to tell you is right here. And I don't even want another price. Right. I, care, I care less. It's just because it is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. And I said, if price wasn't, if price is not an issue, which one is he going to go with? Right. And I said, now, if price is an issue, how much more are we doing than this customer, and is that difference worth it? That's it. Hope line sinker. Well, what do you do if, if you're the first bit, and they go, I really should get you? You know what I say? Number one, go ahead, and I want to know, when, know whenever the third one comes out here. I'm coming back. And, when, and I will. When he's there. or No, after he's there. Okay, I was going to say, I didn't all got for to yeah. get there. No. Okay. No, after after they're gone, I'll still say, hey, I want to come back. Because I want to do you right, and I want to give you the best end product. And if somebody else can do that, don't believe it, that it's going to happen, but if somebody can. Yeah. I want to see it. Yeah. I said, because I'm telling you what we can do and what our product does. I want to see what they're telling you that they can do and their product does. And then we'll go from there. And nine times out of ten, they call me back and say, hey, no need for you to come out here. I want you to do it. That's good. I was going to say, how many times are you closing right away versus, you know, on these re retail or the non-insurance jobs? Okay, so non-insurance jobs, usually right on the spot, you're probably about 50%, maybe maybe 55 well, Sometimes it just depends. But, yeah. uh, and then another, what, 5 or 10% maybe from... To going back a couple times? Well, I'll call. I'll call back every about every three days. Every three days. Um, I just keep a little ledger. You know, hey, call these people back. or Yeah. I'll just mark them off if I know that I'm not even got a chance at it. Sure. Um, I don't want the cheapest thing. Just put it on my hair and I don't even care about it. I call. Don't call back. Not my customer. Right. Um, but, you know, that that aspect of it is... You want to touch that person one more time. If they answer the phone and they talk to you and they're sincere about, hey, we really haven't had a chance to go over everything yet or I'm still waiting on that one to come back or whatever else the next time I call, hey, I'm still waiting. Why are you waiting on that person? If that's the case, how is this going to go with your roof? That's a And then they're like, oh, well, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Right back at it. That's a really good point. You know, so yeah. – being up front and straightforward with people is just, again, that, that's just the way I am here for you. And it, and I may call them out, yeah. but it works. Yeah. I, on uh, Speaking of insurance, brought it up briefly. Uh, how much, you know, how much does that change your process? You're ready, you're reading the adjuster. You always want to be out there with the adjusters out there? Most of the time, I'll be out there with an adjuster. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. See all over each other's eyes. <laughs> yeah. And I won't say, I'll say this, and I'm not going to say the actual insurance name. Yes. But there are a couple I'm not meeting. Is that right? Not going to meet them. Will you tell the whole, the whole order, like, sorry, we just don't work with them? Sorry. They'll give you your price. I'll look at it. It's not even going to be half a bar, so I'm not even, I can just tell you right now. And then they have to question Number one, why are, are you higher than that? And then I say, listen, I'm going to explain this to you. 
and then I'll break down my pricing yeah, versus theirs. And then they're like, why are they? I said, listen, is it, there is one insurance company around our place that is like that. Yeah. And it's not just our estimates. I mean, yes, we're higher than a lot of the other people around our area, but we're not as, nobody is as low as that one. Yeah. And I mean, Joe in a truck cannot do it for what they offer. Yep. Yeah. How much of you, when you say, let me break down my price, how detailed are you? You show, you show your material, material list. Hey, here's how much material you're going to need for this job. And this comes with every estimate I do, whether it, if it's 30 square and I need 27 square of shingles and six bundles of ridge and three bundles of star. And that's listed on my estimate. Every little detail of what I need is on my estimate. And then say, boom. All right, right here. So if you're, if you're roofs ten thousand dollars, five thousand of that's materials. Yeah, got another seven fifty for for dump. Think my guys are going to work for free? Absolutely not. Yeah. So now you got another four grand worth of worth of labor, and then I can't make something. <laughs> yeah, I'm not out here selling for nothing. Thomas has got to make something. Yeah. So the rest of that's what we're going to make. So on a ten thousand dollar roof, yeah, there's fifteen there's fifteen hundred dollars, and that's why I can't take care of your deductible. Well, there you go. Oh, okay. If you get that all the time. All the time. Yeah, that's something. All the time. That, that everybody's illegal. But the, but the, and everybody's it's illegal. And they're like, oh, back in the day, we we went here. We, listen, it's, it's over and done with. Yeah. It's over and done with. If I was charging your deductible over your insurance price, then I'm overcharging you to begin with. Yeah. So you wouldn't go with me no way, so would you? Right. <laughs> okay, so I mean, so we're gonna be close to what that gesture com- comes out to be majority of the time. Yeah, ninety five percent of the time, minus that one, we're gonna be close. close. Enough that you're gonna pay that extra four hundred dollars for us to go with. So you'll be okay. You're, you're you're comfortable. You're not gonna go to you know take it out of your your. No. Yeah, that's great. No. What do you know? No, I'm not doing that. Yeah. Now, I, I take that back. Take that back. We have done. We have done angel work on some houses. That's fair. Okay. Yeah. Um, somebody that physically can't work or mentally can't take care of. They get taken care of. Yeah. They call me and their roof's falling in and they physically can't go to work or the people that are taking care of them can't. We take care of those people. Yeah, that's correct. Widows. We take care of our, our ladies. Yeah. You know, or widow works. Yeah. You know, that goes both ways. Yeah. You know, the take world, care of your... That's right. That's right. We would be where we're at if it wasn't for them. Right. You know, so that's that's the... We are deep, yeah. deep community ties. That's great. So... I love it. So, all right, so you, let's see, you get the order, you know, you're feeling good. Uh, is there any... What, do you have, like, a process for how you leave to make sure no cancellations happen? Uh, okay, so... When we signed a contract, Kentucky, truthfully, you don't even have a half con. Half, I mean, word of mouth is contract in Kentucky, so boom. Um, you can have a text message or whatever, but, you know, nobody ever goes back on the words of work in our area. Okay. Um, so, so that's not an issue. You know, you sign your contract, you know, put it in. Every once in a while, you'll have somebody try to cancel out. Um, if it's a good enough reason, we'll learn out of it. Mm-hmm. It's not. Sorry, you got to sign a contract, and it is what it is. Right. I mean, it's rained for 14 days. I'm sorry I told you it's going to be 10 days till we get there, but I'm not going to tear your roof off. So why, why would I tear somebody else's off and sit in line before you before I come to you? Right. You wouldn't want me to. And then they they come, they get it. I mean, it's just common sense. Well, sometimes people hear <laughs> common sense. That's not enough. <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> the direct nature of you, your being. That's true. Sometimes that helps in real, in real life. Yeah. And I mean, I'm not, I'm straightforward, but I'm not. I'm not going to jab you. No, I'm, you know, I, I'm professional about what I say, but I fat your fat. But it is what it is. Yeah. You take it to the bank, right? Right. So, all right. So that's something. You got that signed contract. What? What's the? Do you, how how involved are you in the, on production? Do you meet with the? Okay, so yeah. we are very small. Yeah. Tom's the owner. Me, Amber, Kevin. Kevin is our production manager. Okay. Um, so once it goes from Amber, it everything goes to me until it hits Kevin. So, self is through. I push push it through Kevin. Hey, we really need to get this one done. 
this this lady she got two trees on her house they pulled it off we got tarps everywhere blah 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 this one's got to be you know ahead of the list he will then make that phone call get all the everything ordered and then make the phone call say hey we're going to be here on such such date very need a bad weather then we go then we go do it um we try to do that a week in advance um just so people know and have it in their mind hey i don't have a garage even if I did have a garage, I don't want nails coming through the plywood if that happens. So I'm going to park on the street. Yeah. They know when, about when we're coming. And we call it the afternoon before plus that morning. That's true. Um, so, you know, communication is key. Yeah. If if you can't communicate, then you're, you know, you're not going to have a good business. Are you the one making those calls? Ke- Kevin is. Okay. Yeah. I will, I'll, I will make the follow-up call after they're there, seeing how things are going. Really? All right. I'll stop by. Um, you know, I won't even let them know that I've come and I just stop in. Okay. And they see my truck full of them and here they come out the door. You know, oh, you know, you know hey, what are you doing? You know, you told me they were going to do this and they did. And I had two sheets of bad plywood here and thank you for placing it and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. You know, they, seeing my face again, you know, just it reassures them we're doing what we told you we were going to do. Yeah. You know, so I'm up up inspecting on the roof, making sure everything that I told them was is is how we're installing, which it always is. Yeah. Uh, but you know, there may be a detail or something that we'll fix that. But you're there to address it. Exactly. You're not in, unreachable. Exactly. Yeah. You know, and you know, technology is king right now, so FaceTime goes a long way too. Yeah. But, you know, my guys they'll FaceTime me, and then they'll go down and knock on on the door, and I'll be on the phone. Mm-hmm. Every the homeowner sees it, says, "Hey, hey, we got an issue. Here's what's going on." That right there versus a phone call, love it. Yeah. Because they see me. They understand, you know, what's going on. And so. Yeah. That's great. So you like to close the circle, make that final impression. That's right. Very good. Uh, just kind of wrapping up, what 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 drives you to, to succeed and, and put the put in the long days, you know, especially in the summer and the weather's good and and you're backed up with, with because a storm came through a couple of weeks before and what keeps you going day in, day out? You know, I'll kind of revert back around to when we first started. I just treat this company like it's mine, you know, and I have that mindset. You know, whenever I first started, it was it was trying to get around having to work and having family and everything else. My job is flexible. Yeah. You know, so I can, I can go to work and do my six estimates. I might be done at 2 o'clock. Hey, I may pick up another one. It come to them earlier, and guess what? I'm going to get that job because I came earlier than what we thought. Right. And, you know, there's some times that I can't make it to a job. You know, hey, my, my kid got sick, or I got to go to the doctor, or something show comes up. You know, those are the things that, but with my standpoint of things, I just call them reschedule, come back out, yeah. and, and do it. Um, you know, I guess what drives me the most um is providing for my family, um, truthfully. Yeah. Um, we're all here for a reason. We're all here to make money. Yeah. Um, that, that's the driving force. You know, the more money I can make, of course, the better life they'll have. Sure. Um, and that's, I mean, but we all wouldn't be here if good, good Lord wouldn't let us, you know? <laughs> that's right. But, you know, he, he, he puts us in places that you never would expect. Right. You know, and I think that he's put me in this place just because I need to be. Yeah. I'm sorry. Last question, what advice might you give, say, a young salesperson like yourself 10, 15 years ago that really needs some direction? How, how, do you take, how, do you, how do you take your performance to the next level so you can hit almost $3 million? You have to be humble, but you have to be able to listen. Um, and when I say that, don't think that you're above every person that you go, that you go at. Uh, you know, even whenever you get to a certain point, you can still learn. Yeah. You know, if you have to humble yourself to say, "Hey, yes, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sell this," and yes, I need to be on top of my game, but don't be air. Yeah. You know, nobody likes an arrogant person knocking on their door. Right. Um, you have to be able to listen not only to your boss, not only to your customers, number one, but listen to the old guys. When I say old guys, I mean there's there's guys that have been around that I'm sure people run into all the time, you know, listen to them. Yeah. You know, that's where you're going to learn a lot of valuable 
a valuable step. Um, you know, Thomas told me how to start out selling. Hey, here's what I would do. I took that and I ran with it. Add a little bit here, add a little bit there. Tossed some guys whenever we first joined. Yeah. You know, added that to it. Put this little bit into it. Yeah. You know, a little salt and pepper and you're good. <laughs> <laughs> so that tastes pretty good. That's right. So, but no, that's keep me. Always be able to be teachable uh, and, and listen. That's the that's the best advice I can give anybody. Yeah, in life. Yeah, life, especially in this group. I mean, there's lots of great people that are willing to help. And yeah, like you said, right. this and that. So, yeah, and in life as well, for sure. That's right. Yeah, you can take it. You can take it and do a lot with it. Yeah. Well, absolutely, Jared. Thank you so much for all your time today. I really enjoyed uh, chatting with you, and congrats on all your success. I appreciate it. All right, thanks, buddy. That's Jared Taylor from Bowling Roofing in Russellville, Kentucky, who sold $2.8 million in residential roofing. I hope you've enjoyed today's show. If so, please and like and subscribe on YouTube. If you're on your favorite podcast player, please leave us a five-star review. The two seconds you take to leave a review will help other success mining contractors like you find us and hopefully get a little bit better, which elevates our entire industry. And please join me for future episodes. This has been the Successful Contractor, powered by Certain Path. Support for this podcast comes from 3design.co. Are you finding it hard to make your mark in the competitive digital world? Look no further than redesign.co. Our expert services will ensure your business achieves maximum visibility through Google Ads, SEO optimization, social media management, and a strong online presence. Don't let potential customers slip away and allow your brand to blend in with the rest. Get in touch with redesign.co and let our exceptional digital marketing team help you stay ahead of the competition. The Successful Contractor Podcast is part of the Certain Path family. Certain Path builds successful home service businesses and has for 23 years. We do it by providing contractors with a proven path to success, professional coaching, software solutions, and a member community of over 1,000 contractors just like you. Doubling your sales with a 20% net profit and an inspiring company culture is all possible. Let us show you the way. With Certain Path, success is made certain. Visit www.mycertainpath.com for more information. Thank you.